It's actually uh, a bit of a treat when you are in a program for a long time, you know the actors, you know the students very, very well. And so there, there's an expectation that you come into of, you know, the best moment you've ever had in class is when I expect all the time on stage, things like that. Now it's a lot closer to the professional world in that all I really saw for the majority of the cast was their audition. And after that, uh, it was a fun little bit of discovery. Uh, she Stoops to Conquer has a couple of plot lines that we're trying to follow at the same time. Mostly it's about two couples who are trying to find a way to get married. Uh, in one instance, they're trying to get to an elopement, but they want to make sure they steal their inheritance by whatever means necessary. And the other couple is dealing with the fact that the man is so nervous around you know, noble women that he becomes incredibly shy, so she decides to pretend to be a bartender uh, to try to get to know the real him. And it works a little better than anyone could have anticipated. Well, it's always human connection. I and mean, that's seeing people try to figure out how to fall in love, how to relate to each other. That's universal, but I think we can have, in the modern world, a lot of fun watching what happens when you let manners and propriety and modesty take over absolutely everything, rather than just being yourself. Hopefully a fun time. Uh, I mean, it is an entertaining show. These are silly, ridiculous characters. But I think there's also just a little bit of taking a glimpse into a different world. I mean, the play was written in the 1770s. So it still bears a lot of the hallmarks of that day and age. Probably the dialects. Uh, layering the British dialect on top of uh, what for us seems very antiquated language. It's just coming to grips and being able to comfortably speak in a, a style of conversation that's not contemporary in the slightest. I think it's tough to point out just one, but there's a genre of moments that I enjoy, and that's when you see uh, an actor or a couple of actors come up with something I never would have considered, and it's just delightful. And that makes me comfortable as a director because it means the actors are starting to make the show their own. So when they have their own little neat discoveries that are better than my ideas, that's a marvelous part of it.